Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Gladius a Relic of War. My name is Saiken and we're still fighting for said Relic of War. We're in the middle of an orc city. It is chaos and I don't mean uh, chaos as in the chaos marines. It is just pure and utter chaos on the battlefield. We do have a proper army assembled. Got our level 10 heroes in the front and a couple of uh, devastated marines the only ones that really shoot far and hard in the back and that should be enough for us at the moment to keep them at bay uh, our job number one is to get the thing aka the city down to its knees and then we're going to uh, see what else we can do for starters what we can do is contour a nice little dome because that always is good Secondly, the thing can take quite a bit of damage. Fortunately, we're not benefiting from our improved hits. Our city is just difficult to penetrate. But that's okay. Dealing a lot of damage overall. We're going to skip this unit and keep it in overwatch. Continuing to hit the battle wagon. And as you can see, our front line more and more is trying to push in, getting the thing down. Uh, we could move up, but that's dangerous. There's a lot that could be hiding uh, back there. So I think we're just skipping the priest, waiting for cooldowns to come back up. In the meantime, being overrun on this side here. Moving in and dealing as much damage as possible to the enemies. Eight, eight, eleven. Eleven sounds good to me. Continuing to drop more reserves to the front line, like that. Moving in, and let's make sure that there are not like streams of enemies going through. We're potentially going to lose uh, this fortress here. Okay, at the same time, do we want more anti-air? We got two at the moment. The enemy had a lot of air units. So I think a third one is not unreasonable, but then we should leave it at uh, that. It was expected that they would just rush it down. And this here is a dangerous army. We need to pin them down. Good. Killer cans die immediately. All right. We could engage here and hope that they are coming back. I 
think that's not the worst idea. Good, we're moving up here. Our tanks are not really good against anything but air units. But since I'm not seeing any air units, might as well start hitting these guys. In the meantime, Almost destroyed their city. This could be it. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Look at that. Massive XP for everyone. And hopefully, a super deep morale sh uh, shock for the rest. Good, straight up one-shotting them. Love it. Level 10 heroes for the win. And yet another kill. Okay, we're doing very well we're doing very well for ourselves straight up leveled up these guys i think two or three times i would love to get uh, that encampment in order in order to purchase something and let's hope that these guys are coming back around that would be helpful because I don't want them to march to our city. All right, end turn. Finally, we got some flyers. Extra vehicle armor, thank you. Additionally, heavy bolters. Now, I think. Increase the armor penetration of grenades, siege shield. Increase the armor of vindicators and reduces movement penalties. Hmm. Grants Fortress of Redemption Predators extra heavy bolters. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's go with that. Another passive buff. Okay, game froze for a second. Let's try this again. We still have these guys, that's a problem. Moving up, we're committing to that city here. Reaction. Improving the damage. Yeah, 
and just get some kills in. It gives us XP, levels us up further. Good, we want some protection over here, so we're going to fly over, dome, and we're good. We're moving further in. air is still still remains to be a bit of a problem here devastate the marines are okay against them and it's not fabulous I was honestly expecting a bit more of our anti-air. Something along these lines, yes. Got some overwatch, so if he comes in closer, we would be able to kill him. And then there is still this orc battalion on the right-hand side. Finally, they decide to move back. Okay, a new front line appears. Why? Why are there more orc cities? Where are? Where is he even taking all of uh, those resources from? I'm wondering. Good. Let's heal up. We're closing this front line here, mainly to keep this big boy busy, taking a lot of punishment in return, and that's okay. We're just going to heal ourselves, don't need to deal damage. Next turn we're going to be healed yet again. Anti-air, it's all the way back. And we are moving slightly forward, focus firing. Good, that's the solid kill. Front line moves in deeper. Still I haven't found the time uh, to start shopping, which is crazy if you think about it.
Good, moving over here. A little bit of extra damage, not a lot. This, however, is going to be a kill. And that gives us the option to dive deeper into the enemy front lines here. I want to recapture this and whilst we are at it, healing, one, two, three, over to the strike and a little bit of slash, good. We could produce another librarian. I think by now our heroes have just taken over the game. Heroes are so much better than normal units. Put in more influence for now. And off turn. taking a lot of damage here luckily for us we skilled into healing which means what we can do is we can capture that as I mentioned then also get a few items such as lifesteal and jacket and extra armor Thank you and whilst we're at it, might as well put um, armor penetration in. Morning blade. This guy is quite well equipped now. Heals up. And we're going to deal with them in a second. Fires need to die. Mega knobs definitely need to die. Okay, we're keeping the orbital strike just in case. Okay, that city needs damage, a lot of damage. We're just focus firing the city at this point. Oh yeah, I can tell you who is going to die in one go. Uh, the boys. One hit, one kill. Not bad. of tank busters here uh, let's just slash him thank you He's down good but kills them nicely
position ourselves here is that a wise move? I would rather stay back. No, no need to risk anything. We're taking a dealing a little bit less damage, but we're so much safer. We can attack, I'll keep the orbital strike for a later stage. This is definitely full flesh warfare. I wasn't expecting like a such a huge attack or Ethan's line, to be honest. Putting this in, moving to here, continuing the damage. our chaplain to uh, get injured so we're just going to tank this here removing a lot of their defense by draining the morale Let's focus on one thing first, just get these guys down. Very good. Look at that, with all of uh, the equipment, he deals way more damage. Unfortunately, we are being hit over here, which I do not appreciate. But we can heal. So moving over here. Moving to here. And let's heal everyone. Closing the front line. These few uh, few enemies down there are not relevant. Starting to get down, uh, get the city down. Weird boys, okay. Take out some more of uh, their uh, of their vehicles. Continuing to hit the city. Eighteen hit points is quite a lot of damage. And I think what we're going to do is we're simply going to go right into the fray over here. Instilling low morale. Okay. 
Okay, I think I've dealt with every single unit. Okay, what else can we do? More research? Certainly. More field over here. More Devastators? Nah, I think we're okay for now. Need to build up some requisition. Oh, he killed... Oh, he killed the Devastator. Ah, the Devastator is not good. Okay, that's a problem. That is a problem. Okay, we all need to go a little bit back. That was so bad. I lost good devastators. Big fat thing just deals too much damage for the small smaller units. Only true champions can tank it. Alright, moving over here. Extra damage. Uh, let's see. Well, that's okay. It's not phenomenal damage, but it is okay. Moves to here. 8.5 is good damage as well. Yeah, and we're just getting it down. Continuing to hit that city, and we have more air units to worry about. Good, I think we've again used all of our abilities. Devastate the Marines need to come in because we lost some. turn city attacks more the devastated marines I definitely need healing back here but it's four more turns until healing is about to come 
Luckily, we got some solid healing, I think, from just morale overall. Moves to here. No, 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 we're not done. Kill this guy. Fantastic. Good, much better. going to place a fortress here in a second. You know what? Might as well grab that now. And bombard the other flyers. Okay. Now let's move on. We're almost through. Big boy is starting to fall. I like it. I love what I'm seeing. Fabulous. That's almost 10 experience for everyone here. Level 10. Very nice. And we're beginning to move up, and I can tell you, we're not going to stop. This has annoyed me for so, so long. Putting a dome up here, very nice. We're going to get that in a second. Cool. Now, I wouldn't have guessed that our biggest problem is our city, so let's do Fortress Supreme. Four more turns until we can expand further. Can't build here. Maybe that will clear it, uh, the problems there. Nice. Just the Overwatch has killed him. Fantastic. need to steal steal the last bits off of me I don't want to fight in the north okay it has indeed cleared it that's great which means we're going to place a bit of electricity up there and then since it's plus 20% influence let's put some influence there as well okay so, first things first, the club needs to die. And we might want to grab that down here as well with one of our units. heat this up Oh 
almost down. I like the vehicles, they are super fast. That is good. But we're going to get that and uh, the runes here. Oh wow, another big, big one. This here is, by the way, an encampment where we can purchase, so we're definitely going to do that. To the war buggies. Let's slide into here and just create the dome for now. They can't really hurt us. Okay, drop shit to the front. Enter. Yeah, that big boy needs to die soon-ish. Tank busters. Slash. And deal so much damage that they're almost dead. In the meantime, Gorkonaut. Is being well kept under control. Is this a war boss? Yeah, we need to control this guy as well. Pink Busters die. Time to go in and hit the pain boy. Lots and lots and lots of damage. Uh... Yeah, we we will focus on that big big guy first. He's already kitted out, so he will move to the front line. He on the other hand is not kitted out, so let's take a couple of necessary items. Lifesteal. Armor penetration. Then we got extra armor and 
extra hit points. Kind of our standard equipment here nowadays. Good, that's fantastic. Amoa and armor can be handed over, which means you can buy that again. Yeah, I think we're just going to get the resources here. Another librarian. Um, that. Definitely the telekinetic dome. Three times. One fly. One shockwave. And please... Put me to here. That also means you can get a vestment and an armor. Just out of curiosity, do two armor stack? This guy has nine at the moment. No, it's only the highest armor, which makes sense. Good, we're definitely loaded on some of our frontliners. The only captain that hasn't really gotten much is uh, this captain here. But we'll get, uh, we'll eventually get some uh, stuff for him as well. Yeah, we don't need additional vehicles at this point. I think we're fine. Good. Frontline takes a lot of damage, that was to be expected. Good, we can heal, but in order to do that, these guys need to die. Move up. I said a shockwave. Moves to the front line, moves deeper into the front line. Is there anyone else who needs healing? I think no. Reaction before we're then healing. Good. Tele uh, levitation doesn't last that. Uh, that oh, it doesn't go that far. Might as well put the tank yeah, to here. Continuing to hit the big guy. Overall decent damage, um, look, with our swords, well, actually will deal a lot of damage, so might as well. Oh, 
Oh, nice. We finally got bolters at our fortresses. Good. Grenades, super effective against them. Alright, that solves the problem. Our backline slowly but surely needs to move up. Good, levitates over to here. Okay, and now our forces are finally united, very much united. Unfortunately, we're fighting against quite tough foes. Frontline is looking good. We have a couple of stragglers in the in the back. Good, and with Fortress Supreme, I think uh, I'll call it a day. What else do we have here? Increase armor penetration of laser weapons. That sounds good. Chapter tactic. Teleport homework causes orbital deployment to not consume action points. Oh, that's not bad. Flash is weak. I think that sounds great as well as the infantry frag grenade. So let's start with the flash this week. And that's pretty much uh, the end of today's episode. Next time, I hope we can push way, way deeper into the enemy territory so that we can uh, deal a devastating blow to them. We have certainly pushed them back a bit, but no telling what uh, lies behind here. Maybe that is where the orc uh, main city is located. Our heroes are holding the front line and by this point it starts to slowly shift. So I'll see after the next episode if it is still a close combat or if we have overcome the hump and then we're just going to call it, uh, call it a day because the rest then would no longer be as exciting as to fight a war on multiple fronts. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.